I'm kicking off the vlog with a shop announcement. I'm putting up the notepads and the Luna Moth sweatshirts on Wednesday, November 22nd at 12 p.m. MST. And for this drop, we have twice as many sweatshirts as we did with the first strawberry drop. I still think they might sell out quickly, at least for certain sizes, but we do have more this time. And we have more blanks to restock more in the near future as well, although I don't have more crewnecks. So all the crewnecks I have will be up for sale, but for hoodies, we do have more. And I'll order in more crewnecks whenever I can, whenever they're in stock. And there won't be any strawberry sweatshirts restocked at this time. We're gonna start working on them, but they won't be restocked again until a bit later. Hey guys, it's Friday, kicking off the vlog. I don't have a whole lot planned for today. Don't really know what I'm doing. I was just in the kitchen doing some organizing because I got the new cups we got from Costco out of the dishwasher into the cupboards and move some glasses down so I can show you that and put a few things aside for donating. And some stuff I took out of that cupboard I had to put into a different one, so I ended up organizing a different cupboard as well. But that's all I've done so far, although I kind of in the mood to keep up with the house cleaning slash organizing. Like there's one thing I've been putting off for so long, which is I have a bunch of jewelry upstairs in our bedroom and it's just sitting on my side table. I got a new jewelry box and I put some stuff in it, but I wanna move more into it and just kind of go through my jewelry and declutter it and then maybe get my big jewelry organizer emptied because I had a big one that you can mount on the wall and I don't think I want to use it. Like I've mostly been using this little travel size jewelry case. I mean, to me, it's pretty big to be travel size. It's like this big, but I've been using that for my most worn jewelry. And I like the idea of just having all my jewelry in like a grid organizer, right? Not my big vertical organizer. I guess let me just go show you stuff instead of just talking about it. Okay, so first looking at the cups, this is what it's like. Some stuff I just moved up there, some got moved to a donation pile, and the rest is down here. Put all the wine glasses down here, stemmed and stemless, but I kept a few up here, along with the whiskey glasses. This has turned into liquor cabinet number two. It kind of already was. This is where I would keep my wine, but I always had it laid down, so I moved this shelf up so that it could stand up. And then I moved a few other things down here just cause I really struggled to reach above the fridge. And I also keep a few things on here that we need to give to family members. Like some of this Tupperware is my mom's, this one's Christian's mom's. And we have glass cooktop cleaner for some reason. I don't know why we brought that with us from Vancouver. So I can uh, gift that to one of our parents or something. This one I also organized, but it really doesn't look that different. I just added some stuff to it and took some things out. The floors are filthy. I need to vacuum them today. That's one of the things I want to do. I just feel like if I do my weekly tidying today, then I'll feel good for tomorrow because tomorrow is a stream day. And it's the first time the stream day is going to be on the Saturday. And I feel like I would just be kind of stressed knowing there's house stuff to be done. So here's my side table, which is kind of a disaster. <laughs> so much jewelry just laying here. And a lot of nice stuff I forgot about. Like what the heck? Like stuff I've bought from local artists and things. Like this moon one too. And then this is the big organizer, which I don't think I'm gonna use anymore. Cause like I said, it's just so vertical. Like I want drawers with grids, which is what I got. I got something off Amazon that I'll show you. Putting your earrings on here is just a pain in the butt. These are the arms to mount it over a door. And this is the new jewelry case. So this is the travel one I was talking about. I got this acrylic jewelry case off Amazon and it's got the little grids which is exactly what I want because then you put one earring set per grid or one ring, one necklace. Yeah. So that's all I have in there right now. And three of the drawers are grids, which is nice because some only have one grid drawer. Drawer number three is still grid technically, but it's a larger grid. And then the bottom one is just open. I feel like I'm still going to want more small grids, but that probably means I have too much jewelry at the same time. I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought this recently at Dollarama. Cute little scrunchie. I went to wear it one day and I was looking at it and it looks like used toilet paper, just wet, swirling in a toilet. <laughs> right? You, I just can't see it the same. This is going donation file. I just, I can't. All right, I've set up my station here in the bathroom since there's better lighting. Sinks are plugged. And I've got this tray with all the stuff from the side table. Rock charms in here. Okay. This ring here, I keep forgetting about. I got this at a jewelry store. It's fine jewelry. You can go in there. You. Do you fit? 
Okay, it just barely clears. We're good. Where's the other crystal earring? There it is. Put this with my other necklace charm. All right, I've gotten through here, but I feel like we're already getting really full over here. This is the not keep pile. But like, we're really filling up and I have some with multiple pairs of earrings in it. Like these are both rose gold, so I put them together. These are all kind of in the same realm, so they're together, just small silvery, like clear stone on silver. I have not even touched this yet. Although this is probably where I'm gonna do most of my decluttering because this is not where I have been reaching for jewelry. This is a potential keep, but as a charm, I just don't like the string on this. I think the string is more movie accurate, but I would probably just wear it with one of my blank chains. It's from the live action Beauty and the Beast. I hate how you keep seeing my thighs and like my crotch and the reflection. <laughs> Let's do a ring call. I already see a lot I'm willing to part with, such as this. This, oh, remember the owl days. I don't think I have my owl necklace anymore. This is kind of neat. Maybe, oh. It could be good for a costume if you need to be real blingy. This will be like a maybe. I can for sure part with this black one. This one's again kind of costumey, like, could be good for a costume. <gasps> this I will part with. It's kind of got grad ring vibes or like, I don't know. It's just a bit chunky and I'm more into the dainty stuff these days. <clears throat> Not a keep. These don't even fit my pinkies really, like they kind of do, but it's very tight, so. This flower, the more I touch it, the more it falls apart, but I can fix it, I can glue it. Oh my God, I just realized what this is. <gasps> ah. It's the matching earring for this guy. <gasps> I thought it was lost forever. I'm setting my mismatches here. I really hope I find the matching one for this heart. Yes, 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 so excited. Even have a necklace that matches. Uh, here, here's the matching necklace. So from the entire section, I kept this ring here and the triangle. And then I'm thinking of keeping this. I can't tell if this is a toe ring or if it's just meant to be halfway up your finger. I feel like maybe toe ring, I don't know. So many rings. Okay, good, good decluttering section. These are kind of big, but they're just so good. Again, for costumes too, or just when you want a little extra bling, they're a bit chunky, but I just like the big jewels. This would be good for like a peach outfit, Princess Peach. So from the earring section, I'm getting rid of all of these. So that's a pretty good declutter too. Oh my God, I do have one owl necklace. This is not the one I was thinking of. It's not the dangly one, but it's an owl watch. I took the chain off and I think I'm gonna keep them to go in my little china cabinet because I've got a lot of brass stuff in there. And he's just so cute. He can just stand up like that. Right, you want some of mommy's old jewelry? She wants this one. Hey, no, you can't have that one. <laughs> she had it in her mouth ready to run. You little turd. Here's another one I never really ended up wearing, but it's so cute. It could be a, a little prop, a little decoration. But here's the update on the necklace portion. It's empty. This is everything I'm not keeping. Some stuff I took the chain off and just kept the charm. And there's this Ben necklace, for example. It's got some of his ashes in it. I changed the chain. This was the old one, which I guess could go over here. This I'm torn on, it's so chunky, but I just love it. And I feel like even if I don't ever wanna wear it, I can use those roses for something. They're just so beautiful. Pineapple's gonna join these guys. And the organizer's empty. I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna relocate it. Same with these pins. I've got Gravelberg, I've got Saskatchewan and Canada. This is also a Sask one. And I have three American pennies and a Canadian dime. One of these pennies, it's kind of weird looking. It's a 1941 and it's got different back on it. This is the get rid of pile. Some of this stuff's cute, but like this is just so chunky. This I might actually, <laughs> I almost want to keep this for nostalgia reasons. Remember these? I've got some extra links for them. These I made myself, but like, that's just not my look these days, but they're cute. A bunch of these broke because this they have the, the bobby pin on the back, but most of them no longer have the bobby pin. I used to wear this guest watch all the time, like high school, early college days. So I'm a little attached to that too. Ah! 
I'm supposed to be letting stuff go, but now I'm like, well, now that I'm really looking at it, maybe I do want to keep it. You know what, maybe, maybe I will hang on to these a little longer. I'm not ready to part. I'm getting way too much crap though. I think I do need the second organizer. Look how crowded everything is. The two blank spots in here are for what I'm wearing now. I put everything into little baggies because I don't want to donate it as like a big clump of stuff. Some stuff I did chuck because it was way too tarnished or broken, but the rest is all neatly organized in here. And all the keep stuff is here. And I think I do want jewelry organizer number two. This top rack, not too bad, but then it just gets too crowded. Like some of these have two chains. We really just need one chain. First of all, we don't want them getting tangled. We're starting to get out of control with all the earrings. Didn't know, but yeah, that was my wedding necklace. But overall, very successful declutter. It's now Saturday. I stopped filming yesterday because I was just doing more housework stuff and it was just too boring, okay? I also got the game I'm playing today, downloaded, installed. I'm playing The Quarry on today's game stream. It's by the same people who made Until Dawn, which I did play many, many years ago. It's very story-based, like, it's almost like a movie and you are just occasionally reacting to certain things and your decisions affect the story. And usually I'm not big on story-based video games, but stuff like this where it's purely story-based and I can do it all in one stream, that I like. Run! Oh God, I'm gonna have to make decisions now, aren't I? Last time I didn't help someone, they died. Ah! No! See, this is exactly why I didn't help Max at the beginning. This is exactly why I didn't help Max! Hide. Please let Abby live! God, my controller vibrating to the heartbeats. I hate this. Okay, I thought her face was being torn off. Okay, she's definitely injured. It's now Monday. The stream went really well on Saturday. It was a very long stream. I got through the quarry pretty quickly actually, which probably is a sign I did horribly because <laughs> it took me just under eight hours. I managed to keep five people alive. Caleb, Ryan, Emma and Laura and Max. And then there were a bunch of deaths. So. <laughs> it was really fun though, it was fun. I can't really say if I liked Until Dawn better or not because it's been so many years since I played Until Dawn, like probably at least five years. I don't know, it's really hard to say. So I can't remember a ton of the story from that, but I just remember bits and pieces. It felt very, very similar to me, which was nice, it was good. But yes, it's now Monday. I'm gonna package orders even though today's technically a holiday because remember today fell on this Saturday and so today counts as the holiday. So there's not gonna be a mail pickup, but I'm gonna pack anyway and then I'm just ready to go for tomorrow's pickup. <laughs> I've got more laundry on the go because before I was washing all the towels I got at Costco and today just our regular clothing but also our bedding which is due for a cleaning anyway, but also one of the cats puked on it. I think it was probably Kiki since she's always sleeping on there, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, getting that all washed. So I'm up and down with the laundry. Let's pack Alyssa's order on camera here. I just packaged one for Isabel, which I put on TikTok and Instagram, and I did all the editing in the TikTok app. It was probably one of the more involved ones in terms of editing in app, and it went really well. I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Probably the hardest part is if you're trying to drag the start and end time of a clip, it's hard to grab the little white anchor on the end. But other than that, it's pretty easy. Okay, winter bun ornaments, five by seven opalescent and midnight rain. Three pillow covers, woo! Okay, something's wrong with my stock levels. It might have to do with resending out an order, but I don't have a B-grade 
white sketchbook. I only have A grades left. So Betty, you're getting an A grade. <laughs> it happened again, I have an order that needs the B grade. So Kirsty, you're also getting an A grade instead of a B grade. <laughs> and there are the orders I just did. What I think I'm gonna do now is restock all my bins because a lot of them are looking a little empty just kind of get ready early for the next shop update and just see what needs to be ordered like i'm going to want more of the smaller poly mailers i do need more of this box right here but i don't know if it's worth ordering yet if i don't need too many of other sizes you know I might just make do without for a while but yeah just my last chance to look and see if there's anything i gotta order okay i've got a couple bins of the dainty flowers but I'm going to be taking them out of this bin because they're currently in a skinny bin. But yeah, I love this because it's just satisfying seeing the stock over on the shelves dwindle. Well, and it's just satisfying seeing this area look full. But what, every time a container from over there gets emptied, I'm like, yes, yes! Because that means the product is moving too. It's like, good especially satisfying if it's something older where it's like you're just trying to sell off the remnants it's slow going I don't know if there's more why baby why this might actually be the last of it I mean there might be some in the rolling carts these things here yeah there's no more in there oh, this one's empty I'll probably restock this why baby why is really popular as a design and squashy is popular but I'll get more <laughs> bag empty. This is the last bag of little duckies, although there's more on the roadie carts. So I got three empty bags and these. And look how full these are. Oh yeah. Excellent, excellent. And we've got some empty space on the back end. And the Y Baby Ys are just down here. They're still in stock on the website, but there's seven in stock. So I need to keep them over here. The cottage core one is empty. I have just one single roll left. And so I just took it out of here, got the bin out of here. I think this is sold out. I'm gonna take this off of here. Some of these look really close but I think that's because the rest of them are on the rollies. We've hardly even been using these things because I had Christian on the embroidery machine doing all the ad sleeves whenever there was a new shop update, but I'm probably not gonna do that in the future. And so, so in the future, once we're done with the whole ad sleeve thing, I can just have Christian helping me on launch day to pack everything and get the orders out faster. Cause the strawberry sweatshirts, they'll probably just all have the sleeve going forward. I just don't know if that's going to be like the next restock or the one after, but just to simplify things, they'll have the sleeve on them already. And that'll just be the, the default variant. There'll be no more other variants. But even for new designs, I don't think I'm going to give that option going forward. I'm just going to make it a certain way. And that's the way it is. Steal this. Is Calder Cutie sold out? Yes, it is. Stealing. Boop. Oh, lesson's really low for the five by sevens. I should double check my stock levels on that. It says there are 10 left. Nine, 10, and then a few spares. Okay. Ooh, shoes and flowers is finally low. I've never restocked it. I just had way too much to begin with. I'm gonna steal a few of these two. Okay. These can all be topped up. Witch hat pin is officially sold out. These are the, just in case an order goes missing, extras. And I'll just put them in my giveaway pile for now. And then if I don't need them, they'll be part of the, the giveaway. This is my little giveaway box along with other things lurking about. Wait, I just found some more witch hat washi, which I can list on the website. Woo! -hoo! All right, there are 30 available and then it's gone. Topped up Daisy Girl, and for Mushroom Girl, I'm just stealing the one from the rolly cart, and then I put a few in here to put on the rolly cart. <laughs> I just spent an hour helping out Christian with some embroidery stuff, troubleshooting some stuff, so it set me back a bit, but at the same time, I don't have like a 
strict schedule right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm just killing time till the next shop update mayhem. See, I don't want anybody to leave on the little whirly carts because it depends how many orders I get. I don't anticipate it being a massive shop update, but you never know. But there also won't be any ad sleeves, so Christian can help me. So I probably should leave him some. <laughs> I mean, in that case, I can just give him these bins. These witch hat charms, I feel like, are such a curse because they have never been a good seller. But this is the last I have of them, which is good. They're so pretty, too, but it's just, you know, I think keychains just aren't a popular thing, which is why I don't make more of them. <laughs> Oh no, I wasn't even recording. Never mind. I thought I was, had the camera rolling this whole time. I was refilling the sticker bins. I guess not. I had the two bins stacked like this and went to hook them on, but I hooked on the top bin. And so the lower bin <laughs> fell and a bunch of Santa stickers spilled onto the floor underneath. Well, now you get to watch me fill it. <laughs> it's recording this time. <laughs> I'm gonna put these on one at a time this time. Try a little something with this area and if it doesn't work I'm getting this sweater rack out of here but I'm trying to find a way to incorporate it so I want to try putting it flat against the wall but we have the doll display case there right and so what if the doll display case goes where the rack is now which is kind of in the middle of the room and hopefully that display case doesn't cover too much of this display case <laughs> so if you want to like grab out little pieces and then help me slide this over. And then I can probably slide it into position there. Just sweep that. I think it looks kind of stupid, but also like, what's the point of the sweater rack now? Like, I mean, it's to hold one of each of the blank colors, but that could technically just hang in the closet in the embroidery room. Cause also the doll display case could go in this corner here, which I've been thinking of for months. I just don't know. I've also been brainstorming recently ways on getting more sweater storage out here. And I can turn this into a small bin wall. I can't fit a ton. And that spot's about two and a half bins wide, a little bit less. And so I can't fit a third bin. I mean, I could, it could stick out. I also consider the possibility of stacking bins here, but not too high, maybe just two or maybe three high. So it's just a little bit higher than the table. Oh my God, it's so sad and dark over there. Eh. But it's kind of the perfect spot. And now Elsa's up top. I found some bins that are a little wider than my current bins and they're longer. They're 24 inches deep and this space is about 25 inches deep. So they'd fit perfectly if I just had two side by side, six high, so 12 total bins. That would be a great use of this space.
I am through the sketchbooks. Yoo-hoo! There are no more on the floor here. And I've updated the listing with the new stock numbers. There are some new B grades added because they just sold out like today or yesterday for the dotted, but I've added more. And this won't stay empty for long because I'm expecting the shipment of notepads this week. So they will be stacked here right where the sketchbooks were. Huh. Just when I thought I finally had some space. <laughs> it's now to wait, double check it's Tuesday. Yes, it is. Okay. I keep feeling like it should be Wednesday, but it's not. <laughs> Shout out to Christina Carrillo for bringing up the Canadian tire ladders because that got me looking. And there's one on sale that is the exact kind we've been wanting. And it's just over 200 bucks. What is it? Yeah, 209.99. It's 40% off until tomorrow. And so I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> we were gonna get Christian's parents to bring up a ladder when they're visiting in like a week and a half. We we're gonna get them to bring up a ladder and we could decorate the tree, but I still just want our own. And the one I want is the kind, it's like, tall and short. It's this style where you can do a frame, two heights, or you can just extend it into one really tall one, or even just two separate short ones and bridge it with a beam. That's the one I want and it's on sale. So thank you for bringing that up. I'm gonna go get that right now. We have arrived. We, I mean me. No, you and me. You guys are part of the we. Yeah, let's do this together. Yeah. Well, what do we have here? Obviously, I'm not gonna get tree. Hmm. But they do always have great Ornaments. Say no way. Big tree means we need more ornaments. Although let's be real, I probably spent enough the last like year and a half. I love these velvety ribbons. Somebody stop me. <laughs> oh, so many. <laughs> Every aisle has more. There's like six half aisles of ornaments. So I'm grabbing this one for the saran wrap ball. And I grabbed some new snow floof because ours is icky and I need more because of where I'm planning on putting it, which I think is on the coffee table in the living room for the village. <laughs> These are kind of cute. <laughs> Should have gotten the flatbed cart. Oh my god. <laughs> I am back. The ladder fell flat on the drive home. It almost crushed the ornament. <laughs> that glass one would have been toast. But we're good. I also picked up some cat food, hairball control as usual. But look, this is where Samara lives. <laughs> we have a lot of cleaning up to do in here, but we got to put up these uh, storage racks. We got to assemble them. The garage is a bit of a disorganized mess. But yeah, every time you come out of the house, you just see this. This mousey reminds me of my baking bun, like from the winter bun collection, there's the one that's baking. You look just like it, but a mousey form. This next thing I'm about to do is not vloggable and it's hella boring. I gotta do my end of year bookkeeping, which I've been putting off because my business year end is September 30th. And so I need to do all my bookkeeping so that my account Ringtone. Hello? Oh, someone to come to us tomorrow to install? Yeah, tomorrow would work. Perfect, thank you. I thought that was gonna be the notepad delivery call, but it was the blinds. Our blinds are ready and they're coming tomorrow morning to install. <laughs> At first they were like, can you come tomorrow to install them? And I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, I gotta do my bookkeeping so my accountant can do my taxes. And I don't use QuickBooks but I wanna start for this year, I wanna look into it. Cause I tried it in the past, but I wasn't incorporated yet. And so I didn't have a separate business account and it was just too messy and I gave up immediately. <laughs> but now I'm like, maybe I should give it another try, but I don't actually need it. I don't know, it's, it'd be worth a try to see if it makes anything easier for me. But I just have spreadsheets in Google Sheets and I send it to my accountant. <laughs> Christian, the blinds people just called. They're gonna install tomorrow. They're gonna get here between 10 and 11. So Wait, the blind people? Yeah, like installing the blinds. The blind people? <laughs> what? What else am I supposed to call them? Well, I, that wasn't the call we were expecting today. I know, I thought it was the notepads, but yeah. yeah. So we'll have to pull the furniture away from the windows, either early tomorrow morning or tonight. I also got to organize receipts. Like, I go through all my email accounts, because I have a, a folder in my emails called receipts. And so when I buy stuff, I move it there, but sometimes I miss stuff. So I got to go through my inbox, 
That's also where I gotta go to see how much tax I paid on stuff. So it's like chasing down all my digital receipts, all my paper receipts, which I really should do throughout the year. I really should, <laughs> I just don't. Some stuff it makes sense to grab at the end of the year. Like if I need a list of monthly payments for internet bills or gas bills, I might as well just log in at the end of the year and grab all of them at once. But things like the receipts I really gotta keep on top of, <laughs> but I don't. And so yeah, all of this usually takes me two full days. I'll try to just get in a couple hours today. We'll do a little bit. We'll see, I'll start and see when I stop. So yeah, here are the spreadsheets. There's the income by month, bank account, credit card, Shopify and GST, PayPal, home office use. And before I was incorporated, I had a breakdown of expenses because my personal expenses were mixed up with the business stuff. And so I had just a monthly breakdown of what expenses I had, like here's what I bought, it was this much money. So I had to comb through my bank statements and figure out what was personal, what was business. Now it's nice that it's all business. You can look at what your bank account balance was at the start and end of the year, and that's basically your, your net income. Well, let me show you the spreadsheets since I've now cleared them out. And some numbers I just changed to white text so you can't see them, like account numbers and stuff. But this is the income source breakdown. Usually there's a convention column, but you know, there's none. I might actually have to delete the sponsorship column for this year. But also these numbers I get directly from my bank account. I can't just look at my Twitch payment history, for example, because they're paying me in USD. So I need to see how much actually hit my bank account in Canadian dollars, but it gets dicey because Diamond Art Club pays me via PayPal and I get some Shopify stuff through PayPal and that messes everything up. So <laughs> that's like a combined. And then I have it listed in USD on the side for Diamond Art Club. Then bank account, this tab is like the longest one, bank account and credit card. I probably don't really need the GST paid column for the bank account because I rarely pay via debit, but I did send some e-transfers to pay for some stuff. So yeah, because as a business, a lot of things are GST exempt, which is a goods and services tax. As a sales tax, you pay on stuff you buy. So maybe I buy some boxes and I get charged the 5% GST, I can claim that back. There's also the GST I collect from Canadian orders. And so I have to, also figure that out, look at what they owe me, what I owe them. Then I usually get a GST return because I usually spend more in GST than I collect. I also annotate next to different transactions because my accountant will ask what certain things are. Then credit card, kind of the same thing. It's just broken down a little differently based on how the statements are given. And notes is where I annotate what it was. Then the Shopify reports, which are just based off of the reports in the Shopify app, which are USD, which so it doesn't match the money that hits my bank account. But yeah, just like a little summary thing. And then the GST. This will probably all change because there's obviously multiples for each province. So the length of this list will probably change based on what my numbers are this year. And then PayPal, since I pay for some items via PayPal, like enamel pins. I list those all here and then balance at end of year for each currency. Although now PayPal's auto converting everything to Canadian dollars. So I should hopefully have just one singular balance. We'll see. And then here's the business home use thing. I don't know if they even use this column, but I put it on there anyway. I, d I just give the info. They use what they need, you know? <laughs> I know talking about taxes is the most boring topic on the planet, but it's also the most mystifying and I would have loved to have seen this from someone in the past. So that's why I wanted to share because I'm sure it'll be useful to some people. I can already tell the business suffered a loss this year, so I might actually get a refund instead of owing especially since I've prepaid my taxes for the year already, but it's been the most expensive year well, like a year and a half, both personally and business-wise because of the move. Although some of my big purchases were last year's tax year, but there was a lot this year as well, especially investing in all the embroidery stuff. Although embroidery machine number two falls into next year's taxes, but there was a lot. Also, if you like don't include our salaries, then it's probably not a net loss, but factoring in our salaries it is. But in my brain, I still count the salary as income in terms of thinking to myself how well everything went, because at the end of the day, that's still my money, but it's not the business's money. But yeah, my bank account balance is lower than it was at the end of last year. So that's how I know there's a net loss. Oh yeah, another huge purchase was the second half of the shopping bags, because I put down a 50% deposit, which just made it into last year's taxes, but then the second half, which was $25,000, I paid that this this fiscal year. So I keep forgetting about that. That's like more than an embroidery machine. <laughs> okay, one more tidbit that I find interesting. As I mentioned, I can use some of my home expenses as a tax write-off for the business, but the business is not the one 
paying my home expenses. That's all coming out of my personal account. So the business is getting a tax write off for stuff I've paid for. So what it starts doing is it's building up a shareholder loan where the business owes me money. And so last year I got a payout for that. And that was for like the prior few years combined. So I'm not sure if I'm getting that this year. Like, will this be a yearly thing going forward? I don't know. But that is a tax repayment from the business to myself. I forgot about that until I was just annotating all the transactions and I was like, oh yeah. I sent all that money to myself. That was nice. Am I gonna get that again? <laughs> Probably not as much because it would be just for one year. And I don't know how it's calculated. My accountants just told me, hey, take this much money from the business to yourself tax-free. And I said, okay. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. I'm done for the night. The kitties are screaming at me for their treats, so I better go give them those. I got a decent amount done. I put in more time than I thought I would. My eyes are hurting from looking at this screen. That first tab with the income grid, I've got it completely filled out. The bank account tab with all my bank account transactions is filled out, everything's annotated. The credit card took a little longer to assemble. It's not done, but like with the bank account one, I can get one big statement for the full year. The credit card is monthly and everything pastes in reverse order. I have to flip the dates for each month. And then there were the three months I had to enter manually. <laughs> I had to enter three months manually because when you grab a CSV file, which is a spreadsheet file for your credit card statements, you can only go back six months. And so every once in a while I'd go in and grab them, but I forgot to do it for a while and missed out on three months worth. And so I had to manually enter info from the PDF version of my statement, which looks like the paper statement you would receive if you get paper statements. So I was like copying everything over line by line from <laughs> those statements. Ugh. So I've got the list compiled, but I still have to annotate everything and see how much GST I paid on everything. So that's not done. That's the one I should keep up with monthly because it's the most time consuming and I often forget what transactions are and then I gotta figure it out. <laughs> I also got my PayPal tab done, which ended up being pretty much nothing because all the payments I sent from my PayPal account this year, I sent it using my bank account balance. So it would directly debit my bank account and that way it's not affecting the PayPal balance and makes things a lot smoother. Plus PayPal just started doing a thing where they convert all your currencies to one currency because I had currencies in so many, I had balances in so many different currencies at the end of the year and now it's just a Canadian dollar balance. And so that's super simple. I had no transactions to list and I just wrote down my end of year balance. So there's still more to do, but I got a good chunk done and I even went through my box of receipts and just organized more stuff in my filing cabinet. And then I have this year's receipts sitting next to me cause I'll need those when I fill out the credit card page. Feels good. Also, I'm here to report the business suffered a loss of $52,800.27. So I spent that much more money than I made. But that's counting our salaries as an expense. And since that money's still technically coming to me, I don't see it necessarily as a loss. It is a loss for the business, but in my mind, I'm still up. But man, this was an expensive year. I forgot that this furniture in here, like the table and that and the two little end tables. I forgot that that was this year as well. We had the sketchbook order. We had the second half of the shopping bag order. We had the embroidery machine and the computer in the embroidery room, all the furniture in there and all kinds of supplies. And I bought a ton of blanks, but I didn't sell them all before business year end. So I didn't make all that money back either. So it was very spendy, very, very spendy. But it was a year of investing in the business. <laughs> so I'm not concerned about it. I'm not concerned at all. All right. Shall I give you your treats, little babies? Also, jewelry box number two has arrived. Da, 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 da. Push all these down on the last one, too. So here's the before. Here's the after. It's one of like the cutest, but it's the most functional. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. I got these side tables. I've been on the lookout for side tables for months for these chairs. This is the exact size I wanted and it just matches the look in here because I've got the, the gold look. Like look at this mushroom lamp. It goes perfectly with that. You know, it's... I got one at each green chair. 